we're going to talk about parrots and children. So don't go away. Hey YouTube, I'm just out taking Trello for a little walk in his aviator harness that, as you can see, he absolutely loves. You can see him gently kissing it with his beak. He loves it so much. Just kidding, he absolutely hates it. But <laughs> he hasn't gotten used to the um, fact that putting it on gets means he gets to go outside. Um, but I've only had it on him handful of times so uh, he'll he'll come around uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about we're here to talk about children interacting with your bird so last year sometime I posted a video of Trello playing on the kitchen table with a couple of my kids and this seemed to spark a somewhat heated debate on <laughs> in the comments about whether or not children should be allowed to handle a parrot. Um, one person even went on to share a horror story about what happened to her friend's parrot when the when a kid was uh, made to hold the parrot and this got me thinking here's the thing so it all comes down to a number of things, one of them being common sense. So if a child comes over to your house and they're rambunctious, they're, you, can, you can clearly see that they're going to be a problem for your bird, obviously that child should not be handling a bird. Would I allow a two-year-old to handle my bird? That's a hard no. But let's say that our friends come over, they bring their eight-year-old son with them. What's the first thing that that boy's gonna notice when he comes into the house? He's gonna notice Trello. What I do in that scenario is I introduce the child to the bird and then I educate him. I educate him on what to do and what not to do around my bird. And then I let the child offer the bird a treat, something that's harmless. Trello loves, actually loves kids, um, and if they offer him a treat, he loves them even more. But I never f try to force Trello onto any child or anyone, for that matter. After I let the after I let the kid give Trello a treat. I then offer to let the kid hold the bird. A lot of times, the kid will say no. In my experience, kids will often say no, I don't want to hold him. And that's okay. The bird should not be forced upon anybody. And if all parties are respected, the bird, the child, nobody gets hurt. Now, sometimes the child does want to hold Trello. And so what I do is I help the child get Trello on his hand. I show the child how to hold his hand with your thumb down and with your fingers out like this and because that's the way Trello likes to be held. But the problem with Trello, he's he gets very excited. Like I said before, he loves kids. He gets very excited and when he gets excited, he'll step up but he tends to bite kind of hard when he steps up kind of to steady himself he, he jumps and he grabs hold and then he and he kind of bites and then once he's on your hand he's fine so what i do with in the case of little kids i don't want them to get bit but if they want to hold trello there's nothing wrong with that i get trello on their hands for them so that again nobody gets hurt the bird doesn't get hurt, the child doesn't get hurt, and everybody's happy. Now, I'm a father of nine children, and all nine of my children have their own relationship with Trello. I have a four-year-old son that loves holding Trello, and he does it often. I have a 17-year-old daughter that would rather love Trello from a distance, but 
she's educated on how to handle Trello if like he falls on the floor and uh, she, he needs to get back up to his cage. My 17 year old daughter who doesn't like handling Trello but knows how to can get him off the floor and put him back on his cage where he's safe. And then I have lots of kids in between that, that either hold Trello all the time, play with them, or just leave them alone. But what's important is they're all educated. You should never let anyone that's not educated on how to handle a bird, you should never let that person handle your bird. And furthermore, as far as children go, no child should be left unattended with the bird. Now, obviously where Trello lives in such a large family. His cage is in a place where there's a lot of traffic. Mom and dad aren't always there. But again, my kids are growing up around Trello. They know how to handle Trello. They know how to feed him. They know how to take care of him. They know how to handle him if they ever have to. So it's all about common sense and education. There is no reason why a child should not be allowed to hold a bird or to handle a bird, to interact with a bird, unless that child has <laughs> issues for which you would rather that child not be around your bird. And in that case, what you do is you close the bird in the cage. If a child comes over and acts like that, you close the bird in the cage and or you remove the bird from the room altogether. Or if you have the bird in a, in a separate room, just don't take the child into that room. But the bird should not be forced upon anyone that does not want to hold the bird, child or adult. And you can see that Trello's still, Trello's still passionately loving his, his aviator harness. What are you doing? I know you're a little bit you're a little bit nervous, aren't you? Well, we'll take you home. We'll give you some treats, and then everyone will be happy. Okay. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you have anything to say, please do so in the comments. And until next time, keep it squeaky.